In this video, I'm testing the PLA and TPU filament from Geetech. Let's see if they're actually worth using. Let's start with white PLA, the one you see here. Prices can fluctuate, but this is the price in the EU. The prints were done on a default A1 Mini. For the PLA parts like this one, I use the default generic PLA settings. For some parts, I enabled tree supports as you see here. It's a very simple print, but this tray looks pretty alright. Also, the first layer looks very clean. This is a bottle filler, which also looks good and a bit glossy. The inside is also printed as you should expect. Here's a phone holder with a brim. The surface is a little bit striped, but not very visible. Let's remove the brim. It's very easy to remove it from the model. Here's the phone holder without brim. This is what I meant with the striped surface. Also prints with small lines and text are looking good. Tree supports were very easy to remove. And as you can see, the small parts like fingers came out really well. Also a bit striped, but this could probably be fixed with some print settings. The next filament is also PLA, but with a gradient color. It has the same price as the white PLA. Here you see how that looks like on a spool. And here they are, the same parts printed from one filament spool. The colored parts are looking more glossy compared to the white ones. The quality combined with the gloss makes the prints look very nice. These trays are actually just printed perfectly. Here's the model with small lines and text again. The gradient looks very cool after doing multiple prints of the same model. The print quality is also good. Like with the white PLA, this brim is also easy to remove from the model. When the right colors are mixed, the effect is very nice to see. It gives every 3D print that little bit extra. Here you see the bottle fillers, the gloss is clearly visible. Also the small hands are looking good in gradient PLA. There's a little bit of stringing but you can easily remove this. Especially with a heat gun. The gradient tree supports were also very easy to remove. Please subscribe if you like it, thanks. The final test is done with gray TPU, also from Geetech. I use the TPU 95A HF profile to print faster. Slower prints got ugly when I tried that. Also the same standard profile was used here. And the same tree supports were used for the hands. This simple flexible part was printed in just 30 minutes. And it's also looking good. The bottle filler was done in just one hour. The material is quite tough, but can be bent easily. This TPU has a slightly glossy appearance. It likes to string when the nozzle is moving between smaller parts. Take it from me that this can be fixed by using other print settings. It would be nice to show that in a next test. If you're interested in buying these filaments from Banggood, check out the links in the description. You might also want to check out my 3D design channel for more tutorials.